Hi guys, Nurse Casey here, medical advisor with Premom. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our Premom YouTube channel so you'll be the first to know when we upload a new video, giving you some tips and tricks on your trying to conceive journey. And also don't forget if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and we will try to get back to you as soon as possible. Okay, so what is today's topic? Today I'm going to be talking about stress and trying to conceive. So first question, is stress a cause for infertility? No, absolutely not. So stress does not cause you to become infertile. That's not a reason that a woman would be infertile, right? Or a man would be infertile. However, can stress impact our trying to conceive journey? Yeah, it can. So when you think about it, stress produces what? Stress produces cortisol. High levels of cortisol can then affect our other hormones. So for men, cortisol can affect the testosterone. And with women, cortisol can affect progesterone. So when you think about it, when you have high levels of cortisol, those high levels of cortisol will affect the testosterone output. Now, what is needed for a man to create sperm? Testosterone. So when you have higher levels of cortisol and not so good levels of testosterone, that's going to affect the production of sperm. Now with a woman, kind of a similar scenario, when you have higher levels of cortisol, that's going to be affecting our hormone progesterone, right? That is the hormone that we need after we ovulate to help keep that uterine lining nice and fluffy and ready for a baby. So with those high levels of cortisol, if that's going to directly affect our progesterone levels and maybe keep them lower than possible or lo lower than what they should be, then that is going to affect our overall trying to conceive chances. So going back to distress cause infertility, no, it's not going to be a reason that you're infertile. However, can stress and impact our trying to conceive journey? Yeah, it can. So what do you do with this information, right? How do you move forward? I hate the saying don't stress. Don't worry about it. Don't stress about it. No, that's impossible, right? Like we stress about things, especially trying to conceive when it's not working. You just have to learn on your journey how to manage that stress. So what level of stress are you having on this journey and how can you manage it? Whether it's going out for exercise, going on a walk, you know, trying to find like a new meal to cook or some, something just to kind of help handle your, your stress levels and get your mind off of trying to conceive and the stress that comes with that. Now, I say that from like the kindest part of my heart. I'm not saying don't stress about your journey. I understand that this journey can be super stressful. However, what I am saying is that it's really important to focus in on those stress levels and find out where you are on your journey because those stress levels can impact your trying to conceive journey. So I hope this information was helpful. Like I said at the beginning, don't forget to like and subscribe, especially if you want first information or first word about our new videos. You can like and subscribe down below and comment if you have any questions. Have a great day.